great strides? What's, what's been the key? Well, me and my coach, we've been working on different things and just improving my whole game and you know, it's working for now. So David Felgate, tell us what it's like to work with David Felgate. Um, we've been together for about five years now and you know we clicked from the start and I listen to everything he has to say and you know he's always right. <laughs> he's always right. <laughs> always right. We work with him and we definitely don't think that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you can discuss that with him. <laughs> but have you found you've obviously got a great relationship with him, but what, what particularly, I mean, you're obviously working on all kinds of things at this stage of your career, but are there particular things that most recently he's been going at with you? Well, my serve and my return, you know, the, the beginning, the most important shots, I think, and you know, my serve has always been a big part of my... Have you been looking a little bit ahead in your draw? <laughs> um, um, yes and no, you know, I was very focused on my first match, but, you know, now I know I'm um, playing uh, Wozniacki and, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. Were you aware that she was out there watching you? No, no, I wasn't. How do we see her as a player? You know, I think she's very good, obviously, has been number one for quite a while, and, you know, I just want to go out there and see how it is to play against a player who was number one. To, to measure yourself against an opponent like her? Yeah, you know, just really to see if I if I can do any damage and just to see how it goes. Will she be the highest ranked player you've ever played Yeah, against? definitely. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't do that well in juniors? Well, I, I, I did play uh, all the slams and everything, but I think when I, I, when I started playing seniors, I adjusted to that game and it's not easy playing juniors after that, so... Different style. Different style, yeah. But you, you're happy you, you will be able to play enough tournaments this year? Well, um, age eligibility rule doesn't bother me that much because, you know, every tournament I played last year, I did really well in it and I played a lot of matches, so it was, would be quite stupid to play even more tournaments than I did last year, but I hope I can continue that for this year. Do, do you think the rules are good? Um, yes. You know, to prevent um, burnout and players, I think it's good, yeah. Any more in English? But she's still, she's she's still going in her. Does she, um, do you learn anything from her? She's quite feisty as a, she's on the court, isn't she? <laughs> yes, definitely. Do you take anything from that? <laughs> no. <laughs> how, how much um, junior tennis would you expect to play this year? Um, none. I finished no. with my junior tennis Wim with Wimbledon last year. I was never really good at juniors. <laughs> and the age rules obviously affect you. When, 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 you, when do you think your next tournament is going to be after this one? Um, well, my coach is doing my schedule now, but I'm definitely uh, playing Fed Cup. So I'm just taking it from there. So how will you prepare for Caroline? <laughs> <coughs> um, Really, just the usual, you know, uh, sleep, eat, practice. What do you think is your strongest uh, weapon? What is your favorite shot? Um, I think my serve can, yeah, can do a lot of damage and probably give me some free points. Sorry, I can't remember her name, but the, the girl who won the orange ball. Uh, Anna Konya. Anna Konya. So are you, you two friends? Are you driving each other? On um, yeah, she actually warmed me up today, so, you know, I mean, she's, she's, she's a great player. I mean, obviously very young and doing... Um, great in juniors. I mean, I hope she can continue to do to do that in seniors. Are there any players you practice with in England who are kind of coming up as maybe future players there? No. Um. I sometimes I train in with Kyothong. I mean, she's, I think she she was a good player and now she's struggling a bit, but she's still she's still going ahead. Does she um, do you learn anything <laughs> from her? She's quite feisty. When, when you first came to England. Did you speak any English? Yes, I did. I learned English uh, when I was in America. I went there when I was quite little, so... Yeah. so is it, sorry, hang on. Has anyone asked you if you want to play for Britain yet? No, they haven't. I'm still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to? Um, you know, I'm very happy playing for Croatia, and, you know, it's, us Croatians have a big Croatian part, so, you know, just fighting on court for your country. For your next round, you might be playing in one of the big courts. Um, how do you look forward to that? I know 
uh, very exciting just to play in front of a big, big crowd and on a big court. It's just, I've never experienced something like that, so I'm just really looking forward to it. Do you do anything to prepare yourself for that, or are you just looking forward to it? Um, nothing special, you know, it's just another match. So my agent introduced me to David, and that was when I was 11. So, yes, yeah, I, I like it there. I mean, the facilities are great. Which facility? Um, Northwood Club. And when did you start using uh, your next racket? <laughs> um, since the beginning of the last year, I mean, the racket's really get great. It suits my game a lot. How, how many weeks of the year do you uh, go back home to Croatia? I mean, I try to spend as much time as possible in Croatia because I still go to school there and you know, to see my family. I think that's really important as well. And the time that you've spent in Britain, do your family ever come to Britain with you or do you, do you have to come on your own? No, my mum usually um, travels with me to London and my dad's to tournaments and sometimes my brother comes along as well and it's nice to be there all together.